Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to some breaking news and CSGO news out there for the gambling scene. It's going to be a very short episode, so please stay tuned for this weekend's episode of CSGO news. There'll be a lot more team changes and stuff going on, but I do need to make this video because apparently as of right now, we do have CSGO gambling being dead for good. And I do mean that. If you guys have not seen the latest updates from PUBG, of course, if you guys saw the of course the seven day trade ban Valve established, it kind of put an end to CSGO gambling of CSGO items. And of course, everyone then moved to PUBG items, which were not actually held by that seven day trade ban, but PUBG actually announced the latest updates today they've actually put temporary holds on all those items as well so for all you guys who have PUBG items you can still sell them on the steam market but you can no longer trade them from player to player and in their announcement they had a huge announcement guys because apparently they caught on to people abusing this and trying to sell or trade these items on third-party sites and many of you guys are very well aware those are actually PUBG gambling sites as many of our CSGO gambling sites have, had, have actually transitioned over to PUBG skins so that apparently putting an end to that here's the official announcement on screen though starting today we're temporarily turning off access to personal trades for all PUBG items. Now this means you guys can still actually sell your markets on the marketplace, that being Steam, but you cannot any longer trade your PUBG items to any other players or any other sites for the time being. Luckily for all of you guys who are worried about this, it does seem to be temporary, but they're trying to find a fix. So who knows if they're going to try and pull a valve here and actually find a fix in the sense that you can still trade them from player to player, but no longer actually trade them on third party sites. Still, they're trying to find a way around this. And recently though, of course, the back half of this, you guys, we've, <laughs> we've pretty much been caught here. We couldn't really hide it in the CSGO gambling scene. There's there's so many of us gamblers out there. Recently, though, we've seen a few cases, <laughs> only a few cases, using the personal trade function to sell items using third-party sites. This is essentially an abuse of the system. To prevent this, we're temporarily turning off personal trades. Now, the one thing that's actually funny about this is they actually had the audacity to say, we, we noticed a few players out there, just a few. Not The recent player spike for PUBG was not a, a dead giveaway that all of us were actually taking to their game just to have their skins for gambling. But on top of that, guys, it does seem for right now, the gambling scene is pretty much shut down. Uh, kind of some sad news as well, kind of really disrupting to see is because if you guys have been watching my Valve case series, I compare Valve cases to gambling site cases out there. I uh, usually paid for a bit of my own pocket. Unfortunately though, I was actually reaching out to sponsors for episode 3, 4, and 5 and it does seem all those guys have now told me no because of this recent update. So that's very unfortunate enough. That's going to delay that series in the future because as of right now I can't even deposit my own skins on those websites to actually pay for it with my own money. Um, so that series is going to be delayed. It does seem right now gambling is done for good. Please leave a comment down below what you guys think about this or will we all now move from CSGO items to PUBG items to a different item out there that's no longer trade banned? We're gonna have to wait and see but for now it's dead.